Day, we shall have a brief period of scripture reading. The Acts of the Apostles. The Acts of the Apostles. Acts 28. Acts 28. And when they were escaped, then they knew that the island was called Melita. 
and the barbarous people showed us no little kindness, for they kindled a fire and received us every one because of the present rain and because of the cold. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand. And when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom, though he hath escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffereth not to live. And he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Howbeit they looked when he should have swollen or fallen down dead suddenly. But after they had looked a great while and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. In the same quarters were possessions of the chief man of the island, whose name was Publius, who received us and lodged us three days courteously. And it came to pass that the father of Publius lay sick of a fever and of a bloody flux, to whom Paul entered in and prayed and laid his hands on him and healed him. So when this was done, others also which had diseases in the island came and were healed, who also honored us with many honors. And when we departed, they laded us with such things as were necessary. And after three months, we departed in a ship of Alexandria, which had wintered in the isle, whose sign was Castor and Pollux. And landing at Syracuse, we tarried there three days. And from thence, we fetched a compass and came to Regium. And after one day, the south wind blew, and we came the next day to Puteoli, where we found brethren and were desired to tarry with them seven days. And so we went toward Rome. And from thence, when the brethren heard of us, they came to meet us as far as Appii Forum and the three taverns, whom when Paul saw, he thanked God and took courage. And when we came to Rome, the centurion delivered the prisoners to the captain of the guard, but Paul was suffered to dwell by himself with a soldier that kept him. And it came to pass that after three days, Paul called the chief of the Jews together, and when they were come together, he said unto them, Men and brethren, though I have committed nothing against the people or customs of our fathers, yet was I delivered prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans, who, when they had examined me, would have let me go, because there was no cause of death in me. But when the Jews spake against it, I was constrained to appeal unto Caesar, not that I had aught to accuse my nation of. For this cause, therefore, have I called for you, to see you, and to speak with you, because that for the hope of Israel I am bound with this chain. And they said unto him, We neither received letters out of Judea concerning thee, neither any of the brethren that came showed or spake any harm of thee. But we desire to hear of thee what thou thinkest. For as concerning this sect, we know that everywhere it is spoken against. And when they had appointed him a day, there came many to him into his lodging, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of God persuading them concerning Jesus, both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets, from morning till evening. And some believed the things which were spoken, and some believed not. And when they agreed not among themselves, they departed, after that Paul had spoken one word. Well spake the Holy Ghost by Isaiah the prophet unto our fathers, saying, Go unto this people, and say, Hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand and seeing ye shall see and not perceive. For the heart of this people is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Be it known therefore unto you that the salvation of God is sent unto the Gentiles, and that they will hear it. And when he had said these words, the Jews departed, and had great reasoning among themselves. And Paul dwelt two whole years in his own hired house, and received all that came in unto him, preaching the kingdom of God, and teaching those things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence, no man forbidding him. The Epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Romans. Romans 1. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, and declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship, for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name, 
among whom are ye also the called of Jesus Christ. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all, that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers. Making request, if by any means now at length I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come unto you. For I long to see you, that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift, to the end ye may be established. That is, that I may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith both of you and me. Now I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes I purposed to come unto you, but was let hitherto, that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among other Gentiles. I am debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to every one that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who, knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. May God help us to be doers of the word.
lost a child. I heard a beautiful story. How oh, you love me so that you died of Calvary. And though I claimed him way back then as God Almighty, things haven't changed. My love still the same. You're still Lord to me. the Lord. Take it back. Where are you? You are taking it back tonight in Jesus' name. Everything you desire, everything we pray for, will come upon your life. Nobody will go back tonight empty-handed in Jesus' name. What are you? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We exalt your name. We bless your name. Because we know that tonight, everything the enemy has taken away from anyone, boy, girl, man, woman, father, mother, parents, children, Lord, you give it back to everyone in Jesus' name. Miracle for everyone. Salvation for everyone. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. 
total redemption for everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that every sin your people are asking for tonight, here, there, in every nation, in every region, in every stage, and even at home, over the radio, and also over the television, everyone connected in any way. I pray, Lord, you bless everyone tonight. Showers. Showers. Showers upon everyone in Jesus' name. Confirm it in every life. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, we're still coming forth. We want to understand the shower coming from heaven, abundance coming from heaven, healing coming from heaven, redemption coming from heaven. How do you get your own? Because tonight, you are getting it. Give me a good amen. amen. Miracles upon your life. Amen. Blessings upon your life. Amen. When you are to get every desire, every promise, every miracle, what steps do you take to bring you to that point that you have the miracle, the salvation, the redemption, the healing, the deliverance, what steps do you take? Let me start with Zechariah chapter 10, verse 1. Notice this, Zechariah chapter 10, verse 1. Ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of latter rain. So, the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to every one grass in the field. Look at that. Ask ye. Ask ye. That means just demand. Just say, this is what I want. Ask. Ask of the Lord. You're asking of the Lord from heaven. And it's from heaven, the sky, up there, that the rain, the showers will come. It's not here on earth. It's there from the Lord in heaven. And it says, ask ye of the Lord, rain. That's what you're asking for. You're asking for rain. The rain of his redemption. The rain of his abundance and the rain of his infinite power and the rain of everything, every blessing the Lord has for you. Ask ye of the Lord. The rain in the time of the latter. Look at that. It was not in the desert spiritually. This is the time. Of the latter rain. And it says, if you're going to ask, look at this. You're in the right place, at the right time, in the right season. Because you are asking for of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain. In the time of the latter rain. There was a former rain. That's former in the old covenant. But now a better dispensation. A richer dispensation, a higher dispensation, a greater dispensation. This is the time of the latter rain. And then he says, the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them and give you. And give you. Tonight is your night of miracle. Tonight is your night of power. And tonight is the night of your outpouring in Jesus' name. And the Lord will give them showers of rain. Look at this. To everyone. Wonderful. To everyone. Am I there? To everyone. Are you included? Your blind eyes tonight will open. Your lame legs power like electricity will be connected to you, power will come. 
And if you have been there, you are weak, you are impotent, and looks impossible, all of a sudden, when I mention the name of Jesus, connection will come for you from heaven. You will rise up in Jesus' name. Congratulations, you have a testimony tonight. It says, it will give showers of rain to everyone, grass in the field. Are you there? Everyone, it will give to everyone. That's why I'm so sure tonight, there's a connection between you there and heaven. And that connection will bring power, will bring healing, will bring salvation, will bring redemption. Everything the enemy, the devil, has stolen away from you and from your family. Tonight, you are going to receive. You are crying because of a child that died in the family. The Lord will make you pregnant again. You will have a living child, profitable child, a child that will give you joy and laughter in your old age, in Jesus' name. Now, now, that word, everyone, everyone, come to Matthew chapter 7. In Matthew chapter 7, we're looking at verse 7. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, ask and it shall be given you. Who is going to receive tonight? Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. When you knock tonight, God will not say, who is there? He knows your name already. He knows your need already. He knows what you are crying for already. He knows why you came. He knows why you are connected. He'll not be asking, who is there? He will say, I've been waiting for you. I've reserved your blessing. Come on in. And then he'll hand over to you your showers of blessing in Jesus' name. Look at verse 8, verse 8, for everyone, that's the point, that's the point, that's the point, for everyone that asketh, receiveth. I will receive. I will receive. And he that seeketh, findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. You know, sometimes somebody comes to knock at the door and the person inside views that person. Ah, he comes for house rent. I am not at home. So I will not answer because I don't have anything. Now, the Lord is at home. Your supplier is at home. Your savior is at home. Your redeemer is at home. The giver of all blessings is at home. Knock tonight immediately. The door is wide open. And the father says, come in, my child. And your creator says, come in, my creature. Sit down here. It will satisfy you with everything you're asking for tonight in Jesus' name. Now, we know that everyone that asketh receive it. We know the Lord is going to bless you tonight. There's no doubt about that. We know that salvation is for everyone, every guilty sinner tonight. We know that there's no, there's no doubt at all. We know there is healing for no matter what sickness is in your life tonight. We know you are going to get healed. It is yours. I said, it is yours. My question is, what do I do? How do I move? What steps do I take that will take me to the abundance and to the rain and to the miracle tonight? That's why I come to you tonight with that word, showers. Everybody shout showers. What do I do? S, seek according to his will. Seek S. H here is appointed witnesses. O 
obey to be well the moment you say yes that's the word of the lord it tells the blind open your eyes and you open the eyes you will see and then it says lame man rise up you don't see them there lie down there i cannot how you receive the miracle obey to be well double you wait for his wonders don't run away what well, you're right you came for something you're not running away it's like somebody that came to the market and he wants to get something and while the seller is about to give him is looking at time and then he runs away why did you come you came to be blessed tonight you are blessed why did you come to see the might of God, the power of God, and what God can do. And tonight you wait for his wonders. Let me hear a good potter called Amen. He, he enter, enter the narrow way. Enter the narrow way. And what that means is Jesus actually that said that. He said there's a broad way. And then at the end of that Broadway, it, is, uh, you know, it looks good, and people are speeding, uh, they enjoy the ride in the Broadway, but at the end of it, there's nothing except sorrow, except suffering, but it's a narrow way. That narrow way, it may not look beautiful or charming to many people, at the end of that narrow way, and then on the way, every blessing you require, the Lord has taught in that narrow way. I can see you taking that narrow way tonight, and I can see you getting to the blessing of God, and then I can see loads and loads and loads of, uh, you know, a blessing upon your life. As you enter the narrow way, I receive all of his word. Receive all of his word. And then, as, this may surprise you. Let me surprise you. As, shake off the world. Shake it off. Everything the world has brought upon your life, shake it off everything the devil has brought upon your life and they pin you down there and they hold you down there and they put all the rubbish on you down there and you want to fly and be like an eagle an eagle of the lord and get to the place and the peak where you ought to be and then that thing is covering you. the power of the world the problems of the world and all the pollutions of the world, all the dark powers and the occultism of the world covering you right there, you shake it off. I shake it off. And tonight, you seek according to his will. You hear his appointed witnesses. You obey to be well. You wait for his wonders you enter into the narrow way and you receive all of his word and then you shake off the world you are there i am there and the power of the lord and the provision of the lord and the promise of abundance of wonders will be upon your life tonight in jesus name Somebody shout, Amen. S H O W E R S. Everyone that takes every step as is revealed unto us in His Word, you will land on the miracle ground of your own possession and everything you have lost you regain tonight in jesus name good that's uh buttercourt rivers amen give me nigerian amen now and then give me a global amen amen thank you for standing up to even give your amen number one now seek according 
to his will. Seek whatever you are looking for. You might even write it down. I'm asking for salvation tonight. I'm asking for freedom from sin tonight. I'm asking for total redemption tonight. I'm asking for healing tonight. I'm asking for deliverance tonight. I'm asking for breakthrough tonight. Seek according to his will. Matthew chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 1. In Matthew chapter 8 verse 1. When he was come down from the mountain. Great multitudes followed him. And then in verse 2. We're told. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Look at verse 3. It says in verse 3, and Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will, I will, I will be thou clean. And give me the next word there immediately and immediately his leprosy was cleansed look at this a multitude was there that means many many people like we have here tonight like we have over there in the regions and in the states everywhere but this man a leper is singled out himself and then he came to jesus how do you seek the lord so you can get the blessing, you come to Jesus. He's the only Savior. He's the supernatural healer. And he is the unfailing deliverer. And he is the one that the Heavenly Father has sent to bring signs and wonders in your life. He came unto Jesus. And then we're told he kneeled down. He worshipped him. He honored him and he called him Lord. He said, I come to you as my Lord. I come to you as my director. I come to you as the owner of my life. And from tonight, you will lead me. And then he said, I come according to your will according to your will he said i know the promise of god that's the will of god i will come and heal him that's the will of god i will take away all your infirmity that's the will of god i will blot out all your transgression that is the will of god whosoever asketh receiveth that's the will of god I come according to your will, and your will is to save me. Your will is to heal me. And so he said, I only come to ask for your will. What's the will of the creator? When he created the creatures, it's the will of God that you'll be happy, you'll be healthy, you'll be holy, you will be prosperous. And you will have the totality of everything Christ provided on the cross of Calvary. All right. If that's the will of God, I come and I seek according to his will. And then Christ manifested that will. He stretched forth his hand and he touched him and said, be thou clean. I will. Tonight. He is telling you, I will. I can't hear you. Lord, give me salvation. I will. Give me forgiveness. I will. Give me healing. I will. Give me deliverance. I will. Give me solution to all my problems. I will. The Lord tonight will perform the will of salvation and healing and miracle and wonders in your life in Jesus' name. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. You will catch, carry, take away your blessing tonight in Jesus' name. As seek, according to his will, here now age, here his appointed witnesses. Here, his appointed witnesses. Look at Acts 
chapter 10, verse 33. And immediately, therefore, I sent to thee that thou and thou hast well done, well done, well done, that thou art come. Now, therefore, are we all here present before God to hear, to hear, to hear all things that are commanded thee of God. That's Cornelius. He said, we want salvation, eternal life, breakthrough, pleasure of God, and pleasing God. And we want heaven at last. And we are all here to hear all things that are commanded thee of God. You see, that, that's all. When you hear, and you hear every promise you hear, you hear it well, it goes in your ear and sinks in your heart. You personalize it. I am here to hear. I am here to embrace. I am here to accept. I'm here to make it mine. You are not absent-minded. You are not looking here and there. You know that this blessing and the showers, you know that they are yours because it's the will of God for you. And then you say, I am here. My family is here. All of us, we brought our problems to hear all things that are commanded thee of God. Look at verse 44. In verse 44, so Peter now began to speak. And while Peter yet speak these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them that heard the word. Heard the word. They were hearing. They were paying attention. They were assimilating. They were soaking each in. They were embracing. They were believing. And as they heard the word, the Holy Ghost came and came with salvation. The Holy Ghost came and came with healing. And the Holy Ghost came and came with power. Tonight, while you are still hearing, your miracle will reach you there. While you're still hearing, there'll be a witness inside your heart there. This is mine, and it is yours. Tears of many years will be wiped away. The sorrow of many years will be wiped away. And then the suffering, the oppression, and the poverty of many years will be wiped away in Jesus' name. Proverbs chapter 4. And I'm reading from verse 20. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. My son, my daughter, you attend to my words. Incline than ear unto my sayings. Verse 21. In verse 21, it says, Let them not depart from thine eyes. Don't look at your pain. Don't look at your problem. Look at the promise. Don't look at your suffering. Don't look at your sorrow. Look at his solution. And get your mind and your eye and your mindset on the provision of Christ tonight. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Look at verse 22. It says, for they are alive unto those that find them. The word you are hearing will bring life to you. Eternal life, abundant life, healthy life, sound life, good life will bring unto you and is health to all their flesh. Health to all their flesh. Health to all my flesh. Say that. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe, healing and health running down in Jesus' name. Internally, your kidneys, your lungs, your pancreas, everything, what they call appendicitis, all that will vanish away. 
and then all those limiting sicknesses that comes to take somebody's life this what you are hearing tonight will touch everywhere i see you getting healed i see you rising up and walking i see god's miracle power upon your life tonight in jesus name s seek h hear and then o now o is to obey to be well obey to be well you know all those people that jesus spoke to this man look at this man is blind and then the lord made clay and even closed their eyes and said go wash in the pool of siloam and you will see he didn't say but you know i'm blind and you tell me to go and you didn't put anybody beside me to lead me and to guide me there he just knew that if he obeyed healing will come as you obey tonight you will be well and then look at this man great man highly placed man his name Naaman. he had heard about the healing power that resided in the prophet in the land and he went there he went with his pride he went with pomposity whatever that is he went with arrogance and then he came in and said prophet i'm here and the prophet said go tell him to go wash in the pool of on the pool jordan and he will be well and the man said me go to the pool and go to jordan and then i'll be well i even thought that he will come out and he will rub his sand and put his sand in the place. He said, the rivers of my country and the rivers of my religion, are they not better? So he was going back and the servants knew. To be well, you have to obey. And so they came and said, my Lord, Captain, what if the man the prophet i told you to do something greater what if you have done that now he just tells you go to jordan dip yourself seven times and you will be well and then uh, those servants they helped him like you help people around you there somebody is deaf he cannot hear everything we're saying and then you get near you put your hand in his ear and then he said why, why, why are you doing that you signal to him that's what the word of god by the man of god said and then we mentioned the name of jesus and by the time we say the final amen those ears are open and then uh, when the man of God says, check up yourself, you don't just stand there, you check. It's obedience that brings wellness into your life. As you do it and as you obey, you are going to be well. Look at Job chapter 36, and I'm reading from verse 5. Behold, God is mighty. And then he says, he despises not any. He accepts everyone. He is mighty in strength and wisdom. Look at verse 11. In verse 11, if they obey. You see that? If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in a pleasure. That's how your healing begins. And that's how the fulfillment of the promise of God begins in your life. If they obey, I will obey. You know, all those that Jesus healed, he'll say, rise up, they rise up. Stretch forth your hand, they stretch up their hands. Open your eyes and see. They open their eyes and see. And then when 5,000 people were sitting down, he commanded the disciples, distribute that little food unto the 5,000. Nobody argued. It is obedience that brings the miracle. And your obedience tonight will bring the healing. 
will bring your health, will bring the wonders, will bring all good things into your life in Jesus' name. S, seek the Lord. H, hear the appointed witnesses. O, obey to be well. W, wait for his wonders. Wait for his wonders. You know, what it means there to wait for his wonders. We're finished. Let's say we're finished the meeting. Let's say we are taking the names of the people who have given their lives to the Lord. You wait for the time of the wonder to come. Maybe you are prayed for the sick now. And then we're saying, check yourself, check yourself. You wait. And then testimonies are going on. You wait. Did you hear that sister that testified while having the service? I called out somebody who had been healed of uh, COVID-19 uh, who said he had prayed his last prayer and that sister was waiting and looking and while the testimony was going on not during the message but testimony then she said the Lord ministered to her if the Lord can do it for that man uh, he'll do it for me you keep on waiting uh, until we have uh, finished we were in uh, they used to call the country Zaire, now the Democratic Republic of Congo. Well, what the stadium having a, a crusade, somebody at the last stage of HIV AIDS was brought, and they brought her in front of the platform. And then uh, I preached, then uh, I preached, after the prayer, other people gave testimony. She was still lying down there. And then uh, we said the final prayer to dismiss the people and to go home. And then we said the final amen. And while the people were going, uh, she was still there. As we were going by herself, she rose up. Power came into her. HIV is everything vanished away. She waited until the end. As you wait tonight, wonders in your life. Yeah. I said wonders in your life. Yeah. Look, look at this. Let me read this to you now. It says in Isaiah chapter 30 verse 18. Isaiah chapter 30 reading from verse 18 it says therefore will the lord wait look at that the lord therefore will the lord wait is waiting to know the people who mean business the people who came for something and the people you know that our god will not disappoint tonight the lord will not disappoint you and therefore will the Lord wait that he may be gracious unto you. And therefore will he be exalted that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. Wait for him. At the beginning of the verse, therefore, will the Lord wait. And then at the end of the verse, blessed showers of blessing are for all they that wait for him. Tonight, you will get it. Wait, no disappointment tonight. Wait, no sorrow tonight. Wait, and your sickness will go tonight in Jesus' name. E now, E is to enter. I will enter. I can't hear my people. Enter the narrow way. Enter the narrow way. The narrow way is not popular. The narrow way is not inviting. When you see the narrow way, and it's that narrow way that will lead to eternal life. 
Is that narrow way that will lead to salvation? Is that narrow way that will lead to redemption? It is that narrow way that will lead to all the blessings you are asking for. You will see the broad way that the people normally take. They're laughing. They're jesting. They're lying. They're doing religion. They're bathing with holy water. They're taking whatever. But it's the broad way. Their behavior is broad. Their actions are broad. Their lifestyle broad. It accommodates and accepts everything. But there's no blessing in the broad way. It's the narrow way of repentance and the narrow way of relying upon the Lord and the narrow way of following after the Lord Jesus Christ that leads to the blessing. Enter the narrow way. That's why tonight I'll be inviting you that you want to have Jesus as your leader, as your savior, as your redeemer, and now you want to follow him in the way, and he doesn't, he doesn't trade in the broad way. He goes in the narrow way. I'll be inviting you. You're going to have the redeemer, the savior, and the healer, and the deliverer, and he's going on the narrow way, and you're going to follow him and the moment you shoot up your hand and say yes I am here I will follow Jesus from now till the end I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back eternal life will come to you now enter the narrow way we're looking at Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 in Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be that go in there at verse 14. It says, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. You'll be among the few tonight. You will enter. I said, I will enter. I will enter into the kingdom. Say it, say it. I will enter into the kingdom. I will walk in the narrow way that leads to heaven. And once you come, the Lord will not reject you. No matter how bad your life has been, in the past, you are going to have salvation tonight. You have redemption tonight. You have transformation of life tonight in Jesus' name. It will give you all you need. The next letter is R. Receive all his word. Receive all his word as you receive tonight the heavens will be opened for you showers will come down miracles will come down eternal life will come to you untold blessings will be yours tonight in jesus name receive i receive i receive as many as received him, to them he gave eternal life and the power to become the children, the sons of God. Those who believe on his name, I receive. Look at Job chapter 22, verse 22. Job chapter 22, verse 22. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his words in thine heart receive i pray thee i plead with you the law from his mouth and lay up his words in thine heart verse 23 then tells us if thou return to the almighty 
if they return to the creator, to the redeemer, to the savior, to the healer, to the deliverer, if thou return to the almighty, thou shall be built up. Everything that is broken down in your life, the Lord will build up. And thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacle. You say, iniquity, I have nothing to do with you anymore. Sin, I have nothing to do with you anymore. Transgression, I have nothing to do with you anymore. Satan, evil spirit, I have nothing to do with you anymore. I have come to the Lord. I'm going to abide with the Lord. And then heaven will be so happy with you. God will be so happy with you. And you'll say, ask me whatever you want. And tonight, blessings will overload your life in Jesus' name. Look at verse 28. Verse 28, it says, Thou shalt also decree a sin, and it shall be established unto thee. Anything you say tonight will be like an irreversible decree. Anything I pray for, for you tonight, will be like an irreversible decree. Your enemies will not reverse the blessing of God. Satan will not reverse the blessing of God. The world will not reverse the blessing of God. And even your own belief of the past and your life of the past will not reverse the blessing of the Lord in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. Thou shalt also decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee and the light shall shine upon thy ways. All darkness removed from your life. Confusion removed from your life. Powers of the devil removed from your life. And I, then I see you free, completely free. And then you are climbing up to your destiny. All your destiny that Satan and the enemies wanted to take away, that destiny, you take it back. Am I talking to somebody there tonight? Praise the Lord, like Joseph had his destiny back, you will have your destiny back. After these showers of blessing crusade, your life will not go the right path. You'll be climbing up onto that peak of the destiny in Jesus' name. Now, the S, that's the final S, so shake off the world the powers of the world you shake it off the sickness of the world you shake it off and all the pollutions of the world you shake them off and the yoke of the devil the yoke of the world that is put to gag you down there to tie you to almost snuff a life out of you that yoke you shake it off i shake it off I shake it off. I shake it off. Look at Isaiah chapter 52 verse 1. Awake. It's not the time to sleep. Awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on the beautiful garment to Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee, into your life into your family into your business into your profession they shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean look at verse 2 there verse 2 shake thyself from the dust it's like the whole world all have seen and come short of the glory of god lying down in the dust and then reptiles crawling over them 
cockroaches crawling over them, the mosquitoes of the world everywhere, and the evil vultures of the world picking up all the good things in their lives, and then the old serpent is crawling all over them. Something at the back, something at the tummy. Now, the Lord said, the time of miracle change has now come. And the time of power manifestation has now come. And it says, awake, awake, shake thyself from the doors, arise and sit down. Now, you'll sit down later after standing up, after awakening, like the daughter of the king, like the son of the king. Lose thyself from the bands of thy neck. They tie that thing on you as if you were a goat, as if you're an animal, and then the people of the world are dragging you here and dragging you there. Enough is enough. Tonight, there's a new start. There's a new life. Tonight, there's new liberty. And tonight, there's deliverance in your life in Jesus' name thyself from the bands of thy neck O captive daughter of Zion my daughter you are not a captive anymore my son there you are not a captive anymore the time of deliverance has now come the time of salvation has now come every sin you ever committed in your life christ is available now he will forgive you all that sin that the devil has been holding on to <clears throat> you are a sinner you are guilty you are bad you are evil you are the uh, um, idol worshiper you are this you are that and was accusing you today you are free and whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved salvation has come who is serving that salvation salvation has come forgiveness has come who is serving that forgiveness freedom has come who is serving that freedom you are i said you are showers of blessing for you for who? For, me. for who? For me. It's bowed and eyes closed. Everyone who turns away from sin and calls on Christ tonight without exception will be forgiven, will be set free, will be saved. It's, it's in your hand. As you come right now and you say, salvation is mine. Forgiveness is mine. Redemption is mine. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord saved. It's bowed. Eyes closed. You want that forgiveness now? That freedom now? That new life now? That salvation now? Wherever you are, raise up that hand. It's just tonight. It's just tonight. Raise up that hand praise the lord i said praise the lord i'm praising the lord for you raising up your hand anywhere you are in the in the auditorium there in the hall there anywhere there in front of me and by the sides just raise up that hand and online raise up that hand this is the day of your salvation as you're raising up your hand stand up as i'm going to pray with you Stand up right now, wherever you are. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord for you. Stand up right now, and I'm going to pray with you. Salvation has come. This is the time, and this is the day of your salvation. Now, as you are standing up briefly and quietly, tell the Lord, O oh Lord, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lord, say it between you and the Lord, I know I am a sinner. I don't have personal power to overcome all these sins. But I turn from my sin. I repent of my sin. 
I throw away all my iniquities. I come in my heart, by my faith, in my volition, by myself. I come to you to save me and to forgive me. I know you will not reject me. Thank you, Lord. You died for me on the cross of Calvary. I receive your salvation. Whether I feel anything or not, I believe my prayers are answered. I am saved. Can you say that? I am saved. I can't hear you. I'm going to pray for you now. Keep up that and Father, in the name of Jesus, we well, thank you this is the time of showers, of blessing, showers of rain, showers of redemption. And you said, ask. In a time of the latter rain, and that you will make the bright clouds, and you will bring showers to everyone. Therefore, Lord, all these here, there, online, in every congregation that receives your salvation now, grant them salvation in Jesus' name. Do the work in their hearts. Cleanse all their sins away. Take the power of sin and break that yoke of sin from their lives. Confirm their salvation, their redemption, eternal life in the heart of everyone now. Lord, it is done. We receive. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. It is done. Keep on standing. Our counselors, leaders, ushers, choir members will be there now to attend to you as we call on our stage overseer here to coordinate and direct the counseling time. You have received your salvation already now by the grace of God. Remain standing. They give you a slip to, to fill. Complete it. Your names, your telephone number, your address, where we can trace you. Those online, right now, a slip is presented there now. Complete what is there. Counselors, wherever you are, please fill it in capital letters, block letters, so that we understand what you've written, please. Complete everything fully. Those watching us online, you just gave your life to the Lord Jesus Christ now, this evening. Visit the link showing on the screen right now. And fill the form so we can assist you further in your new walk with Christ. Also, if you are listening via radio, television, you just gave your life to the Lord, send your name your phone number and email address via SMS or WhatsApp to plus 234-709-278-18-1389. I repeat, plus 234-705-1389. Two seven eight one three eight nine plus two three four seven oh five two seven eight one three 
8, 9. Remember Convert Rally? That will be a special online, there will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who gave their lives to the Lord Jesus tonight. More details about this will be sent to you. A pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Thank you as you do that online now. If you received your testimony, your, your miracle, you receive your deliverance, you got born again right now, please share your testimony with us via the WhatsApp number we've given to you now. You share it with us. Testimony link on the screen is there. You can also record a video of your testimony and share with us via WhatsApp and Telegram. For those of us here and other parts of South South Zone, that is Edo State, Delta State, Baesa State, River State, Akwaibo State, Cross River State, our banquet for the converse is 7th of November, 2, 2 p.m. Friends of Jesus Online, 4 p.m. that same day, 7th of November. A water baptism, baptism will take place on the 20th of November, 2021, in all South South states. But for Akwa Ibo, they have their own the 13th of November 2021. Please cancel us. Hasten up. Submit the sleep to the supervisor who will then give it to, the, uh, give it to us where we are going to work on it tonight. By the grace of God, tonight is your night. Your miracle is dropping on you already now. As the man of God comes up, showers of blessing upon you. Heaven will open on you. Open on your family. Open on your business. Open on your career. Open on your future. You will never, never remain the same again. Today is a new day in your life. A new beginning, a new epoch is starting in your life right today. You will give your testimony. It is well with you. How many will receive their miracle tonight? I can see your hand. As you have said unto the Lord, so he will do for you. Amen. Counsel us, please withdraw. I believe by now you are finished. Praise the Lord. Your miracle time is here. Your healing time is here. Remember, remember, Seek according to his will. Healing is the will of God. Here is appointed witness. Obey to be well. When you are told to check yourself, you check yourself. Obey to be well. When you are told to raise up your hand, raise up your hand, lay the hand there. Obey to be well. And then you believe. And as you open your eyes, you open your eyes to your miracle. Are you ready? Raise up that hand. Lay the other hand where you have the problem. 
And then at the end, when you hear that final amen, before you open your eyes, you tell yourself, I know it is done. And then you open your eyes and you see the miracle of God upon your life. Amen. amen. Father, you're a good God. You're a loving God. You're a merciful God. And you're a mighty, powerful God. With you, all things are possible. You dried up the Red Sea. You will dry up that issue of blood. You made the Jericho walls to fall down. And every swelling will fall down from the body of your children. In Jesus' name. Now, I send forth the power of the Lord upon your life. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Swelling of goiter and any other kind of swelling in your body. Come out in Jesus' name. Deaf, dumb. I pray the Lord will touch your ears right now. Touch your mouth right now. Your tongue right now. Hear and speak out in Jesus' name. Blind eyes, demon eyes. Right now, the touch of the Lord is on your eyes. You will see. As we open our eyes, you will see clearly in Jesus' name. Every incurable disease, cancer, ulcer, tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS, problems in the lungs or breathing or in your bone or in your blood system, be healed in Jesus' name. All the messengers of death that wanted to take your life, I cancel that yoke. I remove that suffering in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for those who are paralyzed or they have stroke, or they are broken bones, or they are lame in any way, I pray that your power will come upon them right now. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray whatever problem, whatever challenge, whatever sickness, whatever disease, touch everyone right now. Right, left, center, far back, in those halls, everywhere, online, in every congregation, every state, every nation, touch them, heal them now in Jesus' name. Shake off the disease of the world out of their body. Make whole. Everyone. Everyone. Make them whole in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 